we are here at Calvary Chapel Oceanside. Today we are here so we can witness the event called Tabernacle Alive. And this is the place and the event where you can see the tabernacle back in the Old Testament, which was described in the book of Exodus. If you want to learn more about that with me, then stay tuned. Hello people in the world, I'm Hannah of Hope and Future Bubble Devotions. Welcome to the Tabernacle of Moses. First you'll have to register at the booth for them to know that you've arrived. While waiting for your name to be called or even after your tour, you can come to the marketplace. They have a ton of neat stuff and some even from Israel. Home decor, incense and oils, artifacts, jewelry, and many more. I got this one. It's a rose guide to the tabernacle. So it's like the ultimate souvenir from this trip. So let's go on to a general overview of what you'll experience on the tour. I will quote from their post on their social media platform. You will see how prominently Christ is revealed as you make your way through each interactive station via a one hour self-guided audio tour. I didn't take any videos while going through the tour and it's better that way so we can immerse ourselves in the whole experience which was awesome but what I'll be showing you is from a phone app that is pretty much what you'll see there so Calvary Chapel Oceanside did a wonderful job in constructing the replica. Let's get on to it. The Tabernacle of Moses was a portable temple or a place on earth where God could dwell among the people of Israel. The gate is the first you'll encounter and that's the only place of entrance for the Israelites. It was made of blue, purple, and scarlet fabric and only Israelites who were ritually clean before the Lord were allowed to come in. Once you come through, you'll enter the courtyard, the first section where you'll see the bronze altar and the bronze laver. The altar was the place of sacrifice for sin and a reminder to the people that God is a holy God. The laver was where the priests washed their hands before doing ministry and going into the tabernacle itself. Before we go into the next section, I'll mention that the tent structure was also given instructions on how to build it. There were even four layers of fabric with embroidery, animal skins, and leather. And now, let's go inside. The next section of the tabernacle is the holy place where you'll see the golden lampstand, which was the only source of light, the table of the showbread, which is the place of fellowship, and the altar of incense where prayers were offered to God. The veil separated the holy place from the most holy place. It's a reminder of humanity's separation from God. Last is the most holy place that contains the Ark of the Covenant and the mercy seat. This is where the presence of God dwelt. Only the high priest could go there once a year to do a ritual of atonement for the sins of all the people. As you return your headphones, you'll receive this small souvenir, and it shows how each element was fulfilled by Jesus. You'll see some supporting verses along with it. Now, whatever information I did give in this video is just a very little portion compared to what you'll learn in the audio tour. So don't worry, I didn't give away too much. I've gone through a women's Bible study before about the tabernacle, but it's a totally different experience to actually be in a life-size replica. It's also amazing what can be done with an audio recording. There was great music combined with narration and background noise. The audio itself already transports you to that place. With Resurrection Sunday coming soon, I'm reminded that everything about this tabernacle reflects Jesus. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. The sins we committed in the past and those even in the future are washed away. The veil that separated us from God was torn after Jesus' death, giving us access to God directly. Our response is to worship Him with all our lives. Hebrews 9 verses 26b to 28 says, 
but he has appeared once for all at the culmination of the ages to do away with sin by the sacrifice of himself. Just as people are destined to die once and after that to face judgment, so Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many. And he will appear a second time not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him. If you're watching this video before April 14, you still have a chance to go to the event. So make sure to check out the website and I will put it in the description below. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then click that like button so that this video would be spread to more people. Also, you can check out my other videos. Consider subscribing as well. So just remember, we are people in the world, but not of the world. Keep your eyes on Jesus.